Hey, Miss Anita, I'm here with Corey with Integrity Home Inspections. He's just finished your home inspection. So he's gonna give us a summary of what's gonna be in the report that he sends you this evening. Corey? All right, so good afternoon. So um, the summary is just the um, you know, overview of the report. Uh, it may change by the time you get it this evening. When I go home, I go through the report, but this is the most part of it. Um, so everything worked except for you have a powered fan in the attic space that's not hooked up. Um, I, I'm going to get to a different part of the ventilation in the attic anyway that needs to be looked at. Um, potential safety hazards, sir. In your panel in the garage, you have an arc fault breaker that goes to one of your bedrooms that needs to be replaced. It doesn't trip. Um, it's very common for those to go bad and need to be replaced. And you have four, and three of them are good and one of them are bad. Um, so an electrician can replace that. Uh, another safety hazard is a previous occupant of this property cut a pet door in the garage entry door. Um, and that door should be what's called a fire separation door um, and a fume separation door. So the um, modification uh, is what you need to be aware of. The bottom portion of the stairs that go upstairs doesn't have a handrail, and you have one receptacle in that back south bedroom that has open ground, and that's probably just a loose ground wire because it's the only one in the whole house. Um, deferred cost. These are items that are broken or not in the state that they should be in or were intended to be in. So this receptacle cover on the front porch here is broken. Um, the siding is overall satisfactory, but you do have a hole back there at the um, condenser unit that just could be sealed or that piece of siding replaced. Um, the laundry wall has a hole cut in the wall right above the receptacle. And I really couldn't figure out why they did that. Maybe they were just looking for that wire, I don't know. Um, the shower head in the primary bathroom is not attached to the wall, so it just kind of hangs. It's, it's conducive to what type of shower head it is. It's supposed to stick to the wall, but it's not. Um, so the second floor screens are missing on the north and the south, and one on the west side is torn. The south facing window in the uh, second floor bedroom uh, has that cloudiness where you have leaking insulated uh, glass um, those can be repaired um, or replaced so the attic space I mentioned the fan is an item that's not working so the attic space um, doesn't have the ventilation that it should have it should have air going into the attic space and air going out um, so you don't have what's called baffles at the eaves you put a baffle at the eave and it lets the air come in and then you have a ridge vent up top that lets the air go out and yours is not working properly. It needs to be um, evaluated by a contractor and fixed. Improvement items. So I just put this on the report because I figured you were going to ask me about it at some point, but on your microwave, it's on the south wall at the patio. You have a vent outside that can be used for that microwave, but currently it's not vented to that vent um, so the fix for this one would be to pull down the microwave and open that flap so that it goes outside versus it's just recirculating um, so whoever installed the microwave basically installed it incorrectly is the, the problem there and so I just tested the uh, second floor bathroom I let the shower run I let the sink run um, almost basically the whole time I was upstairs um, and in the attic so the shower ran at a good 20 minutes and I've tested those moisture stains that you have in the garage and in the kitchen and they have a zero moisture reading um, so I don't know where that staining is coming from other than um, there's a spot on the roof back there at the satellite dish that needs to be checked by a roofer um, and the last thing is the roof so you have an architectural shingle um, I mean it's original so it's right around 20 years old you do have some a lot of broken tabs from these trees right here uh, an excessive amount of broken tabs from these trees um, you got a couple on the 
other side right here that are broken and then back by the satellite dish on the south side of the patio um, that may be where a repair was made for the leaks uh, but it's really soft decking and I actually walked over to the other unit to, to look at the same spot on that one and it's the same way so it's it's just really a design spot but it needs to be um, checked out by the roofer so I think that's all the major things so you asked me about the patio and you asked me about the window unit on the second floor so that window units in your neighbor's apartment or um, building is not in yours and then the patio the concrete patio should be able to uh, be extended relatively easy and then um, about putting a roof over the patio it, it sh should be able to be be done um, you're gonna have to get a little creative to get over that overhang of the roof that you have coming off the back of the house that's over the patio um, you're just going to have to figure out how to go over it somehow. Um, and I believe that is it. So once you get the report, if you have any questions, just feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call. Make sure my phone number is on there for you. Um, and I will get those answered for you. Thanks, Corey. Appreciate it. Absolutely.